everyone guys in this video i am going to show you how to draw isometric views from orthograph views uh, let's see i'm going to choose the second one it looks like a little bit tricky so i'm going to show you how to do that so if i begin uh, to begin with it's going to be like okay first of all what you have to do is you have to do angles that is 30 degree so um, 30 degree which is going to be the bottom things so it's going to be like a front view if you see the bottom part of front view it's going to, it's six box long so you have to draw that in 30 degree angle so that's our first step 30 degree and if you see the right side view it's going to be four box longer so the right side is four box longer so this is my bottom part and now i have to find the height so from the front view you can find the height because this height is going to be the actual height of this object so it's going to be one two three four five so it's five boxes five box height five box height and then what you have to do is uh, you have to make a box before drawing the picture because that will allow us to uh, whatever the object we are drawing to put in the box it's going to be within the box so we know exactly how it's going to look like right so in order to create the box i had to draw parallel to like each other like this one is going to be parallel to this one so it's going to be exactly 30 degree from if you draw a, a horizontal line this is going to be 30 degree so and for this one it's going to be parallel to this one and this is going to be parallel to the bottom one and this is going to be parallel to the height and this is going to be parallel to this and this is going to be parallel to this one so we draw a box right here so now we we have to see what we can like we can we have to basically think what we can do with this picture so if you see the front side uh, there's nothing like if there's no hidden line or nothing appears it means there's no part of, uh, after this part so it means from this two box longer and three box higher from the front view there's nothing after that because if you can't see anything from front view it means there's nothing so from the top view uh, you are not gonna see like there's nothing under this part from the top view it's covering this part because it's gonna be the bottom part because it's going like this right after this it's hidden and that's why it's like this then what we have to do is let's look at the top view if you look at the top view from two box longer let's say this is two box longer and this is in the middle right exactly in the middle and this is also two box longer there's nothing after that you see there's nothing after that so it means uh, there's no part after this now what you have to see is uh, this this one goes down like the from the front view this this line is starting from this right because it's if you see it's direct to this so it's starting from this and it's an incline line and it's one box away from this one box away from this, like this it's like this that's why they have shown a hidden line right here because everything is going to be one box away from this you see this one is one box away this one one box away so everything is going to be like that one box away from this and the other part we can't see that right and like this and what else it's going to connect so it's going to be like let's say this like this so now what i got to i have to do is i have to connect these bottom lines like this is going to be like this and that's it let's see what we are miss, miss here so from the right side view you see this one like a box this one like a box and there's a hidden part here that's showing the behind part so we have drawn that uh, did we miss anything we didn't miss this we didn't miss this hidden line we didn't do miss anything right here we didn't miss this we didn't miss this uh, we didn't miss like this so everything is perfect now what you have to do we, we simply raise that thing Press the box. Erase the box. And 
and this is my final picture so let's check with the answer if this is the answer they have got right here exactly same thing so this is how we draw the isometric waves i hope you guys enjoy this video see you next time